Hello and welcome to the Dread Balloons Tips and Tricks video. So here's a first one. During the first rock shield, you could spend time and you could farm, you know, let's say you're behind in farming. You could spend the time farming if you're like in the first rock shield. But there's one exception. So if you're way behind in farms, you could use this as just time. Please ignore this. Anyway, first rock shield is equal to time to farm. That's one tip. Unless you hit home and you rejoin the game. Now, if you do that, the rock balloon starts spawning, which is not what you want. Now, as a panic trick of, for the rocks, you want two and two oh four spike storms. I mean, two, two, four, zero, sorry. And these will take care of the rock balloons, no problem. Then you could get, you, you know, your normal sticky bomb into taxon with the spike stones, and then you're chilling. A very underrated tower for Dread Balloon is actually the Perma Charge. The Perma Charge does a lot. It pretty much handles everything. So after you do this, you could get a Perma Charge. And look at this Perma Charge go bar. Look at this. It, it handles the rock balloons with ease. So instead of using a tax zone, maybe you could consider the Perma Charge. You don't even need to get lead on it because it already has lead from red hot rings. You, you're just good. You're just good with a Perma Charge. Okay, so after I finish... Okay, so now, after you beat Tier 1... Okay, so that's one tip. Now let's go to Sandbox for tip number two. Tip number two is this. For um for the for dread balloon insta kills. What is the minimum to insta of to kill three out of four of the scrolls? Well, a normal the minimum is a 025 Perma Spike with an overclock engineer. A three to zero alt buff and a jungle drums. Here's a way to save money with the overclock. So you you use it you use the overclock ability, you sell it, and there you go, you saved a lot of money. But yeah, you need a fully prepped overclock, wave thirty nine for normal and thirty seven for elite. Actually I think you could get away with thirty eight for elite, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Now if you're using Geraldo, you could also get a sharpening stone to the spike to add even more damage, to be even safer. Okay. So now, after getting them, here is the optimal way to kill. So first of all, the most optimal way to kill Tier 1 Elite is the Mobile Eliminator. The Spike Plus Eliminator is the most optimal combo. Excuse me, I don't even have Dread Balloon on. Oops. But yeah. For Elite, So remember, it's like spike wave 37 or 38 with overclock and out buff and jungle drums. So 
So now after you've built, built your spikes, let's just put this fast forward speed to very high. That way you know we could build the spikes easier for demonstration purposes. Okay, so now after you build your spikes, here's the ideal. Ideally for a tier one elite, you want to have three eliminators. This is the absolute fastest way to kill it. Like that. But what if you can't afford the Eliminator? Well, you could also substitute the Eliminator for an Overclock Tap Zone. And you could get a Glue Strike. The Glue Strike actually deleads a boss, so you don't even need to delead it. As you can see, look at this. An Overclock Tap Zone plus a Glue Strike is an OP combo. So you use the ability Excuse me, sorry, it's a beauty primary. We have to get build our spike pile first. Let's build our spike pile. Okay. We built our spike pile. Now, you overclock tap zone, and then you use glue on the dread balloon. And as you could see, look at this. The glue deleads the boss for you, so you don't even need, you don't even need, like, AMD spam. You know the glue got it for you. Good job, glue. You're very underrated. So yeah, the glue strike deleads the boss. Now, for tier 2 insta-kill. You want to perma spike on close, and you want to buy and resell homeland defense. You always want to make sure it's overclocked, and you want the perma spike wave 57. You do this, you, you and then you buy and resell it. Then right when this icon, this homeland icon is off, you use it again, and do what I'm doing. Make sure that the spike is overclocked too. So now after you got your promo spikes to insta-kill, it's tier, tier 2. Now you sell the promo spike. You make sure you have a whole land off cooldown. You could use Geraldo's Reju Potion for easier things. And if you're rich, you would use a support to send temple if you're very rich. But let's say your eco is average. Well, then you use a homeland defense and spam the crap out of taps. Just get... get Spam tax like it's your life. Make sure to overclock the tax zone and just spam overdrives. Now tip, the glue storm also deleads like any boss. It's so OP. It could probably also, you know, help you if you time it frame perfectly. It could also, you know, help you, let's say you hit home and you lost your letter of the spike so well. The glue storm is there for you. Make sure your cripple mob is on first for dread balloon, not strong. Very important. So now you send wave 60. And use the homeland and glue storm. And there you go. See, absolutely shredded. And we don't even have MIV on all of these. But as you can see, the tax zone did damage. And that's the optimal way to kill tier 2. Now for tier 3. For tier 3, 
you want a 50k support sun temple. A Poma Spike. And then spam the absolute crap out of Deadly Spikes. If there's not that much room for Deadly Spikes, you could a 10x Ultra Boost the Poma Spike or spam more, more or overclock the Deadly Spikes for, you know, more min maxing if there's not that enough room for all of what you need. Do the same homeland trick that applies for tier 2 and use it for tier 3, too. Make sure you have MIB on all of your spikes. Now there is two methods. After here, there are two methods, the arm broke method and the arm rich method. Do the same homeland trick for this here. Let's just speed this up. Just, you know, to make this go a little quicker. Let's just do 10x so the game could actually keep up. So yeah, same homeland trick that I use with you too. Now you get your super brittle. And now first let's start with the optimal method. The optimal method is to get an ace paragon. Ideally 20 plus. A twenty a degree twenty plus ace paragon. If you can't if you can't afford the ace paragon twenty plus, that's okay. So make sure to target the bombs. Now send wave 80 and use the bomb ability. We didn't even have enough spikes, Reg. But anyway, if you do have enough spikes, that should work. It was kind of buggy, but that should work. I have no idea why this like spike set did not work. I bet I just didn't get enough spikes or something. Let you know overkill on the spikes, and then do this again. You also should get a promo brew alchemist, something which you should not forget, but I forgot. So now that you actually have plenty of spikes, you use the bomb ability. So there we go. That's how it should look like. If you use a proper amount of spikes, that is how it should look like. Anyway, that's how you kill 80 the fastest way possible. Now the rock balloon the rock balloons are kind of pain in the thing.
But yeah, that's the most, uh, but that's the optimal way of killing it. Now here's the more unbroke method. So with the unbroke method, you still use the spikes. You still use the temple. But instead of using the ace paragon, you use tax shooters like you did on tier 2. My, this is really overwhelming my PC. Let's you know sell the spikes while we still have a chance. My PC go blah. Come on, spikes. Why ain't you selling? Why ain't you selling, spikes? There you go, be gone. We don't need you anymore. So make sure you have your cripple mob and super brittle. Very important. Okay, there we go. We got these annoying spikes out of the way. So now you spam tax shooters. God, this is so annoying. Just did what I do what I did for tier two. For ten, like I had as many tax shooters as I did for tier two because of how lucky this is. I can't really place my tax shooters. And anyway, pretend I had as many tax shooters as you did. I did on tier two. And yeah, and make sure you have like a sub temple buff on the tax shooters, and that's how you do the tier three the upbroke method. Tier 4 and 5 are kind of straightforward. What you want for tier 4 is you want to do paragons. So you just want, like, you know, a degree like 40 plus ace. You also probably, you, you want, like, a 40 plus ace. You, you, you know, you could get, you could also benefit from other things. Including, like, you also want, like, a 40-plus doubt, and, you know, after that, you probably are good, but you could also get a 40-plus ninja if you're feeling it. And if you're really feeling it, you could get a true sun god in my tax shooter and spam sun avatar. Now, tier 5 is just a whole load of chaos for you, so I'm not going to go over that. Anyway, bye-bye. That's it for my Dread Balloon Tips and Tricks video.